What's up guys, good morning, another amazing Monday morning. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Hopefully you took a break from the screens. Today we're gonna to be talking about Mullen stock. Really only two things. I'm gonna show you the charts, what I think is going to happen next for Mullen stock. And we're gonna look over some news. So don't forget to like this video, especially if you find value. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. We make Mullen content every single day. And my goal is to update you guys on this company. We've been following it since November 1st of 2022. It's been very volatile. I've been saying that it's a very volatile stock for months now. So we do have a trading bag. We have a long-term bag. It's really something that I created over the last couple months. Of course, if you want to join the team, check out the links down below, $7 a month for the Patreon. Don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. All right, guys, let's get right into it. I get it. We're frustrated. We're pissed off. Uh, the stock has come down about 47% from its last high, right? And its last high was about 45 cents. And the time before that was about 48 cents. So we have just been on this roller coaster with Mullen stock. And I know a lot of people are not happy right now. And neither am I. Trust me, I have money in this stock. And of course, nothing I say is financial advice, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. I have to think about how the company is performing. What can we look forward to? What deals do they have right now? What partnerships have they made? What assets have they acquired? So a lot of, a lot of stocks move like this in the early days and they haven't even been in production yet, right? So we have to wait for production. We have to really see what the next step is. February is coming to a close. We have March now. What I'm really looking forward to hearing some updates about in March is Randy Marion and Menzies. Okay. Those are the two big things that we should get some updates on. Someone should be updating us, which I believe there will be an update on both of those deals. And then I think the stock will start to move up the direction we want it to because we know that when we get news, the stock moves up. When we don't have news, we trade flat or shorts take advantage and we just come down, right? And shorts have taken advantage. Obviously, when David sold his shares, um, dilution has been happening. The overall stock market has been red. So we just have to wait. We have to see what's going to happen here. Again, I'm hoping we get news this week. I think this is a very important week with the charts. So let's look at the charts. We got the stochastic right here starting to move up. It's actually trading sideways. So we're not in a downward movement anymore. We are sideways, okay? The RSI is at 32 and a half. So if we wanna see a move, now is the time for this next move to happen this week. This is the week. So it would make a ton of sense if we get news because of where the charts are at, it's time to start moving up. The RSI is way oversold. We're at a bottom right now, and we need to just get some movement here. So that's really all we're waiting for. This is where you need to make a decision though, because we could touch all time lows again, being just above 18 cents very easily in my opinion at this point. If we don't hold the support we're at right now, um, things could get ugly. Now, what I'm hoping for is that we do have another green day. So on Friday, the positive news is we closed higher than we opened. Okay, so that was the first time we did that in about a week, right? Every day we've been opening and closing red. Well, Friday we actually closed higher than we opened. So that could be a sign of a reversal candlestick, which is a positive thing for us. Today's really important in seeing how we close to see if we could start moving up like we have before. So quick video today, guys, we already know what's going on with Mullen stock. There's no new news. David hasn't said a word on Twitter, which is very frustrating. The CEO for uh, HLBZ hasn't been saying anything. Supposedly they had a meeting, but nothing came from it. So I don't really know what's going on with that. Not really too confident in their meeting anymore. More focused on class one vehicles, Mullen as a company. What are they all about? What are they doing? How's the rest of this year gonna look? And I think this week is very important and March is very important as March 31st will be the end of the first quarter. Hopefully this was helpful. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully we get some news and update on Mullen stock and I can be here to inform you guys. Enjoy your day. Have a good week.